Hello everyone, it's me, Jamie. Welcome back to another video. I'm still in lockdown, still living with Chloe. Penny's here now as well though, so a bit of a fuller house. But yeah, today for this weekly reading vlog, I think I only really have like one plan, one reading plan. And that's to read House of Leaves by Mark Z. Daniel Lewski, which I believe is cited as the scariest book of all time. So I'm buddy reading this with Chloe and Caitlin. We're starting it today. Chloe's already, no, not Chloe. Caitlin's already started it, but me and Chloe haven't started it just yet. We've just been getting ready. We're having a bit of a girl boss day today in terms of like content and stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're focusing on, but we're gonna start this like later on in the afternoon. But it's really weird. It's like kind of like mixed format almost. Like I don't know what this is, but that's a moment. Yeah, so we're focusing on that this week. I probably won't really have time to pick up anything else or start anything else, but I will just say I am in the middle of a romance book called The Score by Elle Kennedy, and this is the third book in the Off Campus series, which is basically just a series of college sports romance novels. And this one is between a playboy hockey player and an aspiring actress. So I really love it because I'm also an actor, so it's kind of fun to watch like another aspiring actress fall in love. So love that for her. So I feel like I'll probably only pick up this book when I'm feeling like lazy, like maybe just before I go to bed I'll like do some reading of this. I'm not sure if I'll finish it this week. It is a really fast read, so it's actually possible, but we'll see if I finish it because I'm mostly going to be focusing on this. I'm kind of scared that I might be too dumb for this, like this does look really complicated. But there are like reddit threads and videos on like the easiest way to read this. Like I think there are like different ways to read it. So I'm sure me, Caitlin and Chloe will figure it out together. And both my friends are very intellectual so I'm sure they will help me out a lot when I need it. But yeah, so I'll probably just read the score when I'm feeling like I don't want to use my brain because I don't really need to use my brain when I read that book. But this is for when I feel like using my brain. So big plans this week, big plans. I'm actually also doing a 24 hour readathon on Friday night to Saturday night. So that portion of the week will not be on this reading vlog because that will be a separate reading vlog. But apart from that, yeah, just this, just this. And then also a lot of like Twitch streams and hanging out with Chloe and Penny and all that stuff and Scruffy as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna go find Chloe. We're doing a big content day today, like I said. So I'm gonna go find Chloe, see what the plan is. And then I will talk to you guys later. Okay, enjoy the vlog. Chloe, I'm scared. What? Oh. This book. Yeah. I'm scared I'm gonna be too dumb. Um, I'm also scared that I'll be too dumb, but we got Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I said I've got both of you because you're both intellectuals. Apparently I'm dumb. No, you're not. You're <laughs> the most intellectual person I've ever seen. Thank you. Apart from Caitlin. Yeah. It's okay, yeah, we all know Caitlin's number one. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin is the smartest person to ever live. Yeah. She honestly is. She honestly is. Anyway, guys, I'm scared. Okay, how are you feeling about it? Wow, this performance. <laughs> wow, you said so much with so few words. Yeah. I still haven't started, I just need to stress that, but <laughs> Chloe's really confused and I'm worried I'm going to be really confused. Yeah, I mean I've only read like, I'm not even on chapter one technically, I've just read this bit, but like, no offense, that's all I can say. Okay. Um, but also no offense to the, t like the font. Oh, ooh. Thankfully that's not the font for the whole book. Yeah. But, um, not a fan. We're not a fan. Also, Mus is the same. Yeah, yeah agree. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna film another TikTok, I think. Nice! Cut! Hello, guys. It's Tuesday morning, and this vlog is not off to a great start because 
I didn't read any of House of Leaves yesterday and I haven't read any this morning either. I ended up staying up really late till about like 2 a.m. just like laughing with Chloe and then by the time I like went to bed and like had my shower and I was like okay now I'm ready to read I was like I'm too tired I'm not in the right mindset to start this new really dense novel so I actually read more of the score I think I read up to 40% and honestly I just love this trashy romance I love it so much it's amazing I I'm just having a good time it's not gonna be a five star read by any means but I'm just having fun, but I am going to start House of Leaves today. That's going to be started today. I'm going to try and read 100 pages. At the moment, I am just doing an Animal Crossing stream on Twitch, but as soon as I finish that, I'm going to be getting to House of Leaves, and I'm going to start it, and it's going to be amazing and fun and lovely. So that's the plan. This is my situation right now, and this is going to be my situation for a little bit, but then I'll get onto House of Leaves, I promise. Oh my god, Jamie's library! Is that Jamie's library? Oh my god! Oh my god, actually, is that who's the blonde girl? This is your oh, who's the blonde girl face. Guys, do you want to say hi to the vlog? Guys, say no hello to my vlog. Then. Say hello to my vlog. Say hello to the vlog. And why is no one well, saying? Well, Kitty said bye, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, it's actually not Chloe's this is vlog. This my vlog. This is Jamie's vlog. Hello, exactly. 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 Jamie's looking disgusting. Oh, can her. you stop? Well, you cut, do. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. I first just need to show how disgusting you look because you have a. Um. Ew! Can you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Ladies, how are we feeling about House of Leaves? About what? House of Leaves? More like House of. <laughs> house of Leave Me Alone. <laughs> Very true. Wait, that's actually a good vlog clip time. I mean, a vlog time. Yeah. So we're all DNFing it. <laughs> I, Caitlin, do you. Pausing. Pausing. Maybe like 40 year old Caitlin if she's feeling. Like, yeah. yeah. Postponing. Um, yeah. Not anytime soon. Yeah, exactly. Caitlin got up to page. Do you read the like 100? I got to page 80. Stunning. See, Caitlin really did try. I read the introduction and Jamie read. I read the first two pages. <laughs> and I said, I would rather read about my frat boys right now. I'm sorry. I'm in my it's bimbo moment. moment is it? Yeah, it's, it's not romance. Yeah. It's not. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I will um, obviously update the vlog later with my new reading plans for the week. But I just wanted to show off my friends. Because. Because Chloe's got heaps of subscribers, so like I would <laughs> <laughs> Can you compliment us? Because I love you both. Thank you. And why do you love us? I love you. Because you're both really No, um, individual compliments, please. Okay, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, because Caitlin, you're really, really, really intelligent. Um, you make me laugh and you're just really easy to hang out with because you're so kind and caring. Aww. Chloe, um, you've given me a place to live and you read a lot of books. Is this Richard Vines? <laughs> no, and Chloe, because um, you've been making me laugh for basically 80% of my time here, so. Oh my god, it's happening. Thank yeah. you. Love that. You're welcome. And you're a really good host. You have made me feel very welcome and at home. Oh, thank you. Yes. Cheers. So, yeah, I did officially decide to put down House of Leaves for now. I'm just not in the mood. We're not vibing. And Kevin made a really good point because he's on FaceTime literally right now. He made a really good point that it's like when we're in lockdown, we really have to be careful of what we read because we just don't want to be in like a bad mindset. You know, we need to be like best headspace ever and I just feel like I'm going to get so exhausted and not happy by reading this and I really don't want to get in a reading slump because reading is like the perfect thing to do in lockdown so yeah putting that down for now so now my reading plans for the week I'm definitely going to keep reading the score I will literally probably finish that tomorrow like it's just so easy it's such an easy romance so like may as well but I'm still in like a silly goofy scary mood <laughs> So I think I'm going to pick up this week All Our Hidden Gifts by Caroline O'Donoghue which is like a tarot card themed oh. 
Ooh. YA horror. I think that's because you're doing the tarot, like strange. exactly, so. yeah. So I think that'll be really fun. I think I'll probably try to pick this up tomorrow evening, and then it's more of like a way easier, way probably more fun horror, and not something really like introspective and complicated, and doesn't read like a college textbook. So those are my plans. I'm probably just gonna try and read those two books and then if I can fit anything else in then I might even just pick up another romance. But remembering that I have my 24 hour romance readathon on the weekend with the friends. So yeah, now I'm about to do an Outlast 2 stream with Chloe on Chloe's channel. So I got this to kind of like numb the scares. And then I'm gonna go and um, after that just go to sleep and try and, but before that try and read the score. I want to get to 70% tonight. Oh, what do you want? I'm on 40. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, that'll be really easy because romance books just take no time at all. So yeah, those are my plans. No one asked. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hi guys. It's Thursday evening and I haven't vlogged for like two days. So I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this vlog. We'll honestly see how it goes. But I just wanted to say that I finished the score just then. Um, I think I'm gonna give it like three stars, but a high three stars. Um, it was really fun. I really liked it. I really liked the characters and the characters journey. Actually, maybe I'll give it four. You know, I feel like Elle Kennedy with her off campus series is like producing these really like kind of trashy, like fun college romances. But the characters still have quite a bit of depth and there's quite a bit of like other story going on which is really nice and like you actually like learn to love the characters a lot and like their independent situations outside of the actual romance yeah i don't know i really liked it i think i said in a clip before but it was just really nice to see kind of like you know this like real playboy character kind of just lose himself in this woman who he just like had no idea that he could be obsessed with a girl and like want a girlfriend so badly. I don't know, I just think it's cute. I like it. And then our girl character was also really cool. She was an actress and she was just like quite feisty and fun and very in charge of herself and her own body, which we love to see in romance books. And yeah. So I also wanted to say, I don't have it with me, but I also started All Our Hidden Gifts by Caroline O'Donoghue last night. Oh, but did you? I, I did, yeah. But I only read one chapter, but I didn't realize that it was like set at like an elite private, um, private girls school for troubled teens, which is fun. So I think I'm definitely gonna read more of that tonight, but the problem is I'm like way back in my Animal Crossing obsession. So we'll really see what happens. I don't know, I just haven't been vlogging and reading because I've been really busy with like streaming and girl bossing and all that stuff. But then today I had the most exhausting day because I had a very intense stream. People who watch my Twitch will know that it was an intense stream, but it was fun, it was fun. Yes. And Chloe, what have you been reading? Oh, well Jamie told me I should start reading um the deal which is the first book in the series that i just um finished the third book from yeah yeah that oh. makes sense oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so the score which i just finished that's the third book in the off-campus series and you're reading the first book so do you think the third book is the best so far i think the third book's the best so far yeah stunning i think the second book was really bad i gave that two stars but the first book was like fun and i liked it and then yeah the third book I think was a bit more fun. I think I liked the characters a bit more. Yeah, at the moment it's, I think I'm like 20% through. It's really fun vibes at the moment. And such a fast read, right? Yeah, yeah, really fast. Like, what more could you ask for? You just want a fun time. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But can I just say, <laughs> you know, I feel like people think that I would scare Jamie all the time. I literally have not scared her once. And Jamie has scared me multiple times. I did the best scare for Chloe last night. She was streaming a horror game and then I crawled and she had headphones on and so I crawled from my room. I crawled along the hallway into the stream room. Somehow climbed under the desk without her noticing from the doorway and then grabbed her foot. Oh my and god. And it was the biggest scream I have ever heard. <laughs> yeah, and also she just like walks in the room and she's just like, hey, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, and then she'll literally come in and she'll like put a skeleton in my room or she'll come in like Try and scare me. You've scared me once and that's when I was filming my video My wrap-up. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, honestly need to up my game. Do you 
No, you don't actually. I don't want to be scared. <laughs> I think also because you like talked it up so much, I'm like prepared for it. Yeah, I feel like I do talk the talk when it and don't. I talk the talk and I don't want the walk when it comes to me being scary. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. No, I need to. I need to work on it. I talk the talk with being a girl boss, and then some days I don't girl boss at all. That's not. I gaslight. No. And I gaslight. <laughs> no, but a girl boss knows when they need rest. That's true. You can't girl that's boss anyone. That that's, that's true. That's just disgusting. It's very true. Okay. Well, I think. Um, are you gonna keep reading? No, I think I'm gonna sleep. You gonna sleep? Okay. It's eleven. I no, that's a good idea because I'm streaming in the morning and we should have yeah, like early nights. Well, because I was thinking we should sleep because then like tomorrow, obviously we have the readathon. Yeah. We can try to like. Yeah. Well, really... I'm planning on staying up all night. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try. Yeah. So I need to have a good sleep so I can like do that. Okay. I'll probably not sleep. I'll probably go and play Animal Crossing or read all our hidden gifts, but I will do that in bed. You should try to sleep though. Okay, mum. <laughs> I will, I will sleep much earlier than I have been sleeping the past few nights. Yeah. Because I need to get up early and look cute. Yeah. For my stream. Bye guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello everyone. It's now Friday. It's like Friday. There's like honestly like 40 minutes before me and Chloe and everyone start our 24 hour readathon. So this will be my last clip until... Sunday but I just wanted to say that I read more of our, all our hidden gifts last night and I only got up to page 58 but already I'm just really loving the vibes. This is a horror book about a girl who finds a set of tarot cards and there's this one card in there that no matter how much she researches she can't find anything about it and it's you know pretty obvious that this card is not part of the tarot and if you do know tarot cards you'll know that when she pulls it out and everything but already the vibes are just so good like the witchiness in here it's obviously like very very well researched in terms of like new age spirituality and stuff like that and if you aren't aware obviously like I love my crystals I love my tarot cards I love all stuff like that so I'm really into this and actually before starting this book I actually did a Twitch stream where I read people's tarot cards and the way that our author describes how our main character is feeling like after reading a bunch of people's cards I'm honestly just like exactly like it honestly just really really spoke to me and I just cannot wait to read more of this and figure it out like even if I don't end up loving it I just feel like this is a really good kind of like witchy vibes book which I'm obsessed with and yeah I think there's going to be not necessarily a romance but a really important relationship between our main character Maeve and this character called Ro. I believe this character Ro might be transitioning like that hasn't explicitly been said but it's kind of hinted at so that's cool and then also there's going to be another big relationship development. Like, I don't even know. There's, like, heaps of really cool characters. So I feel like there'll be all sorts of different explorations of, like, different sorts of friendships in here, which I think is really nice. And, yeah, I'm just really excited to read more of this. I think this is going to be a really good book. But I'm not going to be reading this for my 24-hour readathon. I am hoping to read more of it, though, on Sunday. So you will find out more about this in the vlog it'll be 24 hours from now when i start reading it again on sunday so that's cool but yeah now i think i'm just gonna get ready for the 24 hour readathon and see how chloe's doing and everything and i'm just really excited um i really hope this vlog hasn't been too boring i know it's been a bit of a mess but honestly this whole week's been a bit of a mess lockdown is genuinely driving us so crazy so yeah but okay wish me luck on my 24 hour readathon and i will talk to you soon We're on a walk, it's Sunday, we did our 24 hour readathon. I'll do a proper vlog clip when we get home, but I just wanna say we're on a walk and we're having fun. Hi, it's Sunday night. Um, as you saw before, me and Chloe actually went for a run today. Yay. We, we were little girl bosses, we went for a run and then we went for a really long walk and it was really nice. It was actually really fun. Maybe I'm gonna become like a little a runner, a track star. Okay, so. I had the readathon. We had the readathon. I read three full books, so that's great. It means that I'm no longer in the middle of something. Like I'm still only in the middle of all of our hidden gifts. You will see how the readathon went because the vlog will be coming up after this one, I imagine. 
so that's great and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys like it but yeah um, it went well it went well three three finished books which is great but yeah I haven't read any of this since I last spoke to you on Friday so I'm gonna try and read I think if I'm on page 58 I want to try and read up to maybe page 150 tonight so like just under 100 pages or maybe even page 200 because it's a really fast book like big font all that sort of vibe and that's great but before I do that this is a book that I didn't get to read in the 24 hour readathon so I think I might read this right after my stream I'm about to do a twitch stream but right afterwards I think I'm gonna read this and read this all in one go with my tea and then I'll go take my makeup off get ready for bed and then pick up this I'm just very much in the reading mood you know something about living in a house with all of this behind me it's just like it makes me excited to read so obviously I will give you updates as I go but yeah, those are my reading plans for tonight. No offense, but look at these cuties. Exactly, exactly. Hello guys, I just finished Heartstopper Volume 4. It was so stunning. Absolutely five out of five stars. I loved it so much. I, all the Heartstopper graphic novels are five out of five stars for me. I feel like this one definitely goes a little bit deeper and the content is definitely a lot darker than the ones that we've seen, like the other volumes. Um, it goes much deeper into Charlie's mental health and, you know, there's some really, really good mental health conversations in here. Not necessarily to do with Charlie, but the conversations between Nick and his mother and, like, what Nick has to do when dealing with, you know, being in a relationship with someone who has mental health problems because obviously it's really not easy for Charlie but it's also not easy for Nick because you know like Nick's 16 he's not a therapist like yeah I don't know the conversations were so beautiful Nick and Charlie I just loved so so much I love them like this graphic novel series like honestly these two characters are literally my comfort characters like I know that if I'm ever feeling down I can just pick up one of these graphic novels and read it for like half an hour 45 minutes and just have the best time of my life you know love them love them so much so it, i am really tired but i think i need to go well i definitely need to go take off all my makeup brush my teeth and then i think i'm gonna try and get to page 150 or 200 of all our hidden gifts so i probably won't update the vlog while i'm reading this or before i go to sleep so yeah good night for now and i will see you tomorrow or I can tell you about this and I can also wrap up the whole vlog as well. Okay, hello guys. It's now Monday. It's a new week. I just wanted to update the vlog to say that I read more of All Our Hidden Gifts last night and now I'm on to page 131. So I didn't read as much as I anticipated and that's because I have no one to blame but myself. I ended up playing Animal Crossing last night. Yeah, yeah. But it's still fun. I still made a big dent in the book. It's getting really good. We're actually getting up to like the horror part. I will say while it's really easy and fast to read, the pacing itself actually does feel quite slow because while we're on page 130, you know, the one of the main characters is still missing and I feel like the real like meat of the story is going to start once our main character finds the character that goes missing yeah i'm trying to be as vague as possible because obviously i don't want to give spoilers but yeah no it's still good i still really like the vibes and yeah i just can't wait for the like kind of horror stuff to happen and i think that's going to be quite soon so i'm definitely going to be trying to read as much of this as possible i'm doing a bit of a reading challenge this week so i probably won't pick it up again until the end of the week but that's absolutely fine It'll stay in my mind and yeah. So that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It has been a, yeah, a bit of a weird week because me and Chloe have just felt like really tired and I don't even know, like it's been a weird week. But you know, it's fine. We kind of like, while we were feeling really negative about lockdown at the beginning, like towards the middle, I feel like we've kind of come on the other side of that now. And we're just like, okay, yeah, no, cool. We've got what two more weeks three more weeks whatever like we're gonna be fine we're actually gonna be fine we're fine now so yeah but again thank you so much for watching just a reminder that all my socials are linked down below twitch.tv slash you with the blonde girl thank you chloe <laughs> and i will see you very soon in another video very soon I, yeah cool see you later but she said Cindy, don't cry and i don't